Okay. So today in January team call, I'm going over January promotions. Um, I hope to get as clear as I can for you guys. If you have any other questions, you can ask them. Um, oh, I'm going to mute everybody. If you have any other questions, hi Giselle. If you have any other questions, um, you can ask them or when you log on, you know, you can always log on to your doTERRA account and online chat or call in and they can clarify a lot of things for you too. Okay. Um, I also, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of you here that are not elite yet. Um, elite is the foundational rank. So I'm going to have, I'm going to share my story about how I hit elite. I'm going to have Eiko share her story and I'm going to have Naomi share her story. So I hope that helps you guys a little bit as well. Um, I definitely want to go over building your beliefs. Um, when you do this business, it is a lot of personal development, a lot of personal walls and breakthroughs and all those kinds of things. And in those personal breakthroughs, there are limiting beliefs that can keep you held back from really growing in your business. So I want to, I think I've shown you guys this chart before about limiting beliefs and how you want to turn that into an alternate belief. So we're actually going to go through and I'm going to have everyone pick their limiting belief and um, say what your alternate belief is. Okay. Um, the, the second to last thing is a reactivation special. I'm not sure if everyone got that email. Did you guys get that email? Show of hands. Reactivation special. Okay. So they pretty much sent it to every wellness advocate. Um, I'll go over that. And the last thing I want to talk about is brainstorming how to expand your contacts. Okay. So thank you for coming. And I'm going to keep this. We're going to keep this before. We're going to end by nine at the latest. Um, let me share my screen. Okay. So when you guys are, you know, when you get your, the, whatever, the first of the month, you're going to get emails. So doTERRA is going to send you the email of the promotions. Um, the best part is if you don't know what it is or know um, how to qualify for that promotion, you're going to click on learn more here. You guys are all smart. You know this. So um, product of the month. We all know this one, Wild Orange, it's great. Um, the purpose of product of the month is that you're getting your customers who are on LRP, you want everyone on LRP, and you want everyone to place their order by the 15th of the month, 125 PV orders, and that way you are creating a residual income and you're not hauling buckets. You have people on LRP, they're placing their orders by the 15th, they're placing 125 PV orders, and you can always really rely on those, those um, specific customers to keep making their monthly orders. The 10% off product of the month is Terra Greens. If you guys don't have this, it's one of my favorites. Um, it's great for people who do not take their fruits and vegetables or do not eat the right amounts of fruits and vegetables or the right variety. So definitely push this product um, as the 10% off product this month. Um, new Year, New You. So this is something that they do. I don't know if they do it every year, but they did do it last year. I actually really like this promotion and I think that there's so much potential here. So new year, new you. doTERRA is bringing back your favorite promotion to give you the confidence and motivation needed to share the benefits of doTERRA products with friends and family. Um, I click on it to learn more. Whoops. Why? Okay. And it's basically, you are going to, so it's, it got a little bit more complicated this year. I'm so sorry, but I'll explain it. Um, basically, if someone attends an event that you put on, so an online class, an in-person class, a, um, I don't know, you, you set up a booth at, at somewhere and, and you're, you're educating about essential oils. If someone enrolls with you with a 100 PV order or more within three days of that event, um, they can get, they can qualify to get $100 in free oils, which is going to be 100 PV in points. Um, the following month after they place their 100 PV LRP order for that month as well. So they have to enroll with 100 PV order or more, place an LRP order of 100 PV or more for next month. And as you know, someone who does a business, that's going to be really helpful to you to get your customers enrolled with at least 100 PV and get them on LRP. Once they kind of get on LRP, they're they should like it enough to keep to stay on. So this is an advantage for you guys to to um, to get people on LRP. Okay, um, when DoTerra creates these New Year, you know these kinds of promotions, um, really expand on it. 
you know, so let people know, hey, it's a new year, new you. Um, I'm doing this event and there's some, there's an amazing promotion this month. This is what it is. And you want to be on LRP anyway because of all of these benefits and you, you can go on from there. Um, so the complicated part is, okay, so how does my, how do my people get the 100 free points? Um, I don't really want to say how it was done last year, but it's different this year. So it took me a little bit to play around with things to see how this is, this is possible. You are going to go to, so when you click on, you know, what are the details of this event, you're going to read through and it says, go to this link, click on the drop down menu that says login, click register to add events. So I went to that link, I logged in, and it's gonna, you can drop down on this menu and click add event. I pretty much just created an event and I had it reoccurring every week. And then I created another event three days later and had that reoccurring every week. Um, and that's kind of what I did last year. But when I, in order for them to redeem their points, they actually have to type in a promo code. And see right here, it says promo codes. You have to click on that and you have to give them the code to redeem those points. So when they enroll with their 100 PV order, they have to type in the code. And then once their LRP order goes through next month, the point should show up within three to five business days. Interesting though, right? Now we have promo codes, you guys. So play around with your back office, make sure that you know what's going on. Um, and how to how to help your your customers run through things so that you know how to explain it to to your customers okay and it's not and it's not really hard it can be easy peasy as long as you know what you're doing um, so once I did this I kind of thought to myself like last year I created an event every three days that way no matter who enrolled they always got the 100 um, points no matter when they enrolled in the month but after I kind of looking at this promo code list it kind of, to me, it, it kind of, um, it doesn't really help as far as like, this is my event, please come to this event. If you enroll within three days of my event, you get 100 free points. So something, something to think about. Do you guys want to create an event every three days and whoever enrolls with you that month, you know, they get the 100 points? Or do you want to really make a few events for the month and make it an incentive as enroll with me within three days from this event and get your 100 points. Okay. So I'm debating, but um, promo codes, that's new. So make sure you're going to go on to here or go to calendar.doterra.com. It's going to take you here. You're going to log in, drop down menu, add event. Find the promo code for the event date that you set and make sure you give that code during your follow-up with the people that you're following up with after that event, that class or event. Okay, so that's New Year, New You. Hope that was helpful. Um, I will say last year, I took advantage of this event for sure. Um, I enrolled a lot of people. With enrolling a lot of people, you need to watch who those people are so that when the next month comes, if you didn't already help them set up their LRP order, in that initial enrollment, you want to help them set up their LRP order the next month so that they get that 100, 100 points. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, this I found this very, very successful for me last year. So I hope you guys find a lot of success here as well. New Year, New You. Woohoo. Um, if I believe correctly, okay, last year starts in January. And then in February, everyone placed their 100 PV LRP orders. And then we had Bogle. So I'm, I'm talking about last year. Um, so New Year, New Year was January. Then everyone placed their 100 PV order LRP to get their 100 points in February. Plus we had Bogo and I hit a new rank. I hit Premier that, that month. Um, so this can also help you up rank this month or next month. Okay, so that's New Year, New You. Then if we go down to the next promotion, Gift of the Earth. We know this one, Frankincense. Um, this was last, last month's um, 200 PV promotion. This also extends through January 15th, which is pretty awesome. Um, this one, please make sure all of your customers know they do not need to be a wholesale customer. It does not need to be LRP. They can enroll with 200 PV to get this. They can um, place a regular wholesale, um, 
wholesale order, a regular retail order, or an LRP order of 200 PV to get the free frankincense. Okay, there is a Slim and Sassy competition. Uh, I don't have a lot of customers who do something like this, but you know, this is kind of cool. Um, I did click on it. It explains everything when you click on that link. Um, how to be legible, how to enter, and all that kind of thing. So if you do have anyone kind of interested, definitely do it. Do it with them. Um, help them help them apply for this. Okay. So many windows open. Um, did everyone get the new Living Magazine? I just got it today, so I didn't read it. So you might get it today or tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy that. Alrighty. And then the other email I got was the January reactivation campaign. Uh, not everyone here will, will need to do this, but it's a whole nother thing to kind of like watch and reach out to your customers, but it's also something that you can really take advantage of. So if you've been in the business for four or more months and you've enrolled someone or someone hasn't done an order in four months, they can get an incentive. Um, for different PV orders. On top of everything else, there's so many incentives this month and they can get it all if they want to. Um, the only thing here is they ha it's promo codes again. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of um, really communicating with your customers. Hey, reach out to them. Hey, how are you doing with your oils? Um, you haven't ordered in a while. There is a reactivation special this month. If you haven't ordered, you know, four months or more, four to 12 months, you fall in that category. Um, I wanted to see if you wanted to replenish your oils, get new products. Um, can I introduce you to any new products? And if you do a 100, 200 PV order, you will get you know, these, these oils for free. And then just help them with the promo code. Okay, so that's a reactivation special. Um, anyone have any questions so far? Um, the last promotion of the month is the early bird giveaway with Isla Love. If you don't know where to find it, if you're not part of this Facebook page yet, Isla Love Wholesale Members. Miley will post this in the beginning of each month, early bird giveaway. The date on this has changed to the 10th, which is great because, you know, some people, the 5th just comes like this sometimes. So to be able to have until the 10th to enter this giveaway, it's awesome. Um, so figure out whatever system you need to have to stay on top of all these promotions and help your customers take advantage of them all. But how awesome are the um, Isla Love giveaways? Every month it's like, it's, it's great. So um, really take advantage of these because this helps you see your numbers sooner. Um, get everyone to do their 125 PV orders by the 10th. They get the free product of the month they get to enter the early word giveaway. If they do 200 PV, they get, you know, the frankincense. So there's so many things that they can get for free. And I hope that helps. Okay, I hope that helps instead of overwhelms. Um, but this early bird giveaway this month is awesome. And that's it for promotions this month. Okay, so I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna stop sharing. And is Naomi here yet? Not, oh, you are! Okay, Naomi or Eichel, who wants to start first with your story to elite? Any tips on the actual actions that you've done to hit elite? Um, how long it took you to hit elite? How you felt and what your mindset was? Let me okay. Yeah. Hello. Um, for elite, I felt like that was worth it because it would cover everything I was buying. Um, but it definitely took a while because I, um, I didn't really have anyone who wanted to build until recently. And um, a lot of it was trying to strategize your tree. I feel like understanding your tree and how to build your tree had a lot to do with that. And I, uh, I feel like that's something that is not explained very well. It's really hard to understand. And once you understand that um, you're actually trying to build two little mini companies under you, then that really helps you to place people correctly. And so the placement, I think, is really where you need to understand how to um, move yourself up in this game. And 
it is kind of complicated, but it's worth taking time to look over. Um, and even though Ashley explained it to me, I didn't quite understand it um, until I actually looked at a tree. So if you haven't looked at someone else's tree who already is there, um, that might help a lot. Um, I did make a video, I'm sure Ash can show you too, but there is uh, a structure that if you actually think about always having two builders under each builder, so every advocate having two builders, and of those builders having two builders, you want them to kind of have two legs at a time. Um, it's okay if you have more than that, but I feel like that was where it got really tricky is if you don't automatically start placing people under those first two legs, it's harder to rank, it takes longer. You really wanna build those two builders um, up. And the reason why you wanna do that is when they start accumulating an overall volume, you will rank up. And why does it matter if you rank up? I um, mean, I think that's what I didn't understand either, is that once you pass elite, that's when you start getting bonuses from the company overall. Um, so it's not just, it's not just that you're making a 20% um, on that initial two months, because at first that's the, that's the incentive, right? At first it was like, okay, cool. We'll sign up somebody. We get, we get a 20% off of whatever they buy, but there was no reason to continue following up with them. There's no reason to check in and make sure that they like their oils and they want to buy more. What makes you understand that, yes, you want to check up with them. Yes, you want to make sure that they understand how to use their oils. What makes you want to educate them? What makes you want to keep friends with them is then you're like, oh, if I can, if I can teach them how to use their oils and they like something, they're going to keep buying. And then I'm going to actually make a percentage in the long run. It still didn't make sense to me because 2% didn't sound like anything it only made sense once i understood i could place them further down a tree the further down the tree they were the more percentage i would make every month that makes sense okay you want to make a higher commission the other thing that made sense was if i put them under the people under me i'm helping the people under me who are helping me to rise up and rank and get a bigger bonus and that made sense okay um so understanding also every layer of people that you have going on under you, you are making a commission on that entire layer. So maybe it sounds like, oh, I'm only making 2% on this person. I'm only making 3% on this person. But if you add it up, and if you actually do math, and if you, if you understand numbers, 2% times 10, or 3% times 15, right? That's the amount that you're making every month. And so I think what I started seeing as, um, more important than enrolling people was to try to educate them or help them to like their oils and really um, help them in the long run to keep buying oils. And so LRP is huge, loyalty was huge. And um, I was able to get about maybe like 60%, I think like 60, 70% of my customers are on loyalty. They buy every month, um, which they don't always buy 100, but they will sometimes buy like 20 or 40 or 60. And that is huge because when you understand that you will always have that income coming in, you can actually start planning your life. <laughs> you can plan your tree. You can plan where to place people because you start to see, okay, every month they're always going to buy this much. And so if I want that line or I want that branch under me to actually hit a certain volume to help me uprank, then I need to add more people to this tree or this branch instead of this person. So instead of putting uh, another enrollment here, I'm gonna put the enrollment here because I can count on that there's this much in every month happening. And then that is how I was able to understand how to place myself and rank myself higher. Um, and Ash, of course, helped a lot. <laughs> okay, was that too confusing? That was okay? Wait, how long did it take you to hit Elite? Oh, I don't remember. Um, oh goodness, I think May. May was when I first really started selling. I had one person that asked to buy, and that was the day that I gave birth to my daughter. She's eight months. That's when so, you enrolled. You enrolled when you gave birth. Yeah. It was like yeah, it was like two hours before I started labor, and somebody enrolled, and I didn't even know she did. And and then um, so I didn't really actually start um, enrolling people or trying to until May and. Um, it was only because I, 
I was actually like kind of home a lot and I, and I had some time and I knew that because I had some help, I knew that once my child was older and I didn't have anyone helping anymore, I wouldn't have time to do it. And I just happened to text all my friends. I didn't even do classes. So I know a lot of people are really intimidated about doing classes. You don't even have to do classes. Your classes can just be talking to people like they're your friend. And that's what I did. I just told all my friends. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look, I use this for this and this works for this. And this is what I did. And they happen to have this sale this month. Um, and it's only this month and you get this and you get this. And, and if you enroll under me, um, then I can give you all the free education. And I like sent them pamphlets afterwards, you know, as like a, a thank you here, let me help you. And of course, since I'm their friend, they trusted me. And so a whole bunch I had like nine people sign up in one month um and it was I didn't teach a class I I didn't like push them I just was like oh my god you guys all on text message um no phone calls no nothing in person because I was home like on recovery from birth <laughs> okay and so um that really surprised me how many people were just willing to listen to what I had to say and so a lot of it I think is your your ability to just say what you feel and not be scared to just speak up and say, and I thought like, Oh God, my friends probably think I'm crazy or I'm telling them like, Oh yeah, use oils for this, use oils for this. And now I'm obsessed. But, um, you know, if you really just say what you feel about stuff and you're honest, then I think then you'll find that people really do want to try what you, what you try. Um, I did send a lot of samples just because I was, um, recovering from birth. So I couldn't, I couldn't really like meet people and let them try things. And so I just mailed stuff I'm, and that did cost a little more. Um, that was a little more, uh, you know, of a, of a work on my part because I had to make little samples, but I'd say about 75% of anyone that I gave samples to has bought or enrolled um, since then. And it's usually like it within three months. So within three months of me sending samples, they usually all enrolled. Um, but a lot of it was just me like trying to really ask, Hey, um, I know you like this, or I know you're dealing with this, or I know that you have this kind of stress or that you have this kind of thing going on in your life. So do you mind if I just send you some stuff that can help you? Um, and then a lot of it is just checking in on them and seeing if they like it and seeing if they didn't like it, why? Is there something else I can help you do? Or maybe they didn't use it right. Or maybe they, you know, haven't been, they didn't even open it because they forgot. So sometimes it's just checking in with people. I think follow-up is a lot of it. but um. I really am not somebody who likes to push people. I don't like to bother people. So um, I felt really nervous, like approaching people I didn't know. But if it's, if it's something that you just naturally think this is a good thing, I wish everyone had this, you know, it's a lot easier to do. Um, and also if you think about how it's not that you have to enroll everybody, it's not that you have to enroll all these new people. A lot of it is the few people that you have. If you have five or six people that enroll under you, if you can get them to like and use the oils all the time, they're going to always buy. That's income. That's constantly income. So you don't have to think about like, oh, I need that 20% all the time. You don't need to get the 20% from new people all the time. Sometimes it's the people you already have. You just need to place them further down your tree um, in order to get a collective income every month. And that little bit can go a long way. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. I go. You ready? Or you want to go last? I can. Go. All right. Okay. So um, it's interesting to hear Naomi because mine is kind of different. My story, as far as um, I know, she mentioned she did a lot of samples. Um, she did a lot of texting with her friends and whatnot. But I did a lot of classes, which is. Um, very different and it's kind of a lot of work um, but it was worth it um, let me just start from the beginning I guess I had enrolled as a wholesale customer in March of last year um, Ashley had kind of asked oh did you want to do the business side I said no not at all because I'm totally not a salesperson type wasn't into all of that or so I thought and then people started approaching me because I posted a few things on social media um, so I upgraded to a wellness advocate in May of last year. Um, she had introduced me to this pre-leak program or she had mentioned it about enrolling into that with her. It was an eight week program training program, which I was kind of wary about cause I'm super busy, two jobs. Um, 
I had a son last or 2016 November is that last year already but um yeah so I was busy I was kind of worried like do I have the time but I made a priority to make the time for it and with that I'm telling you it really helped me and Ashley really helped me I would say definitely like um I had hit elite so the program is eight weeks, six weeks into that. So that was in July, end of July. I hit elite. I have to credit a lot of that to BOGO though. It was a BOGO month. So that really helped. But again, social media was huge for me. Doing online classes was huge. Um, BOGO helped me rank up. And I also was very fortunate to find builders, that, you know, like right after they enrolled, which is Charity and Kamanu. They're on this call too. So I was super lucky. Um, they carried me through through July and August, and I solidified Elite, and I hit Premiere in September. So it was super, super fast. Okay, super fast. And I was like, oh, my God, I don't even know what I'm doing. But Ashley is literally the best. Um, so we're all so lucky to be under her because she taught me, like how Naomi said, to do the two legs. Because Elite is like a... Um, an overall volume rank. It's it's just points. Like you need three thousand overall to hit elite, but to hit premier, it's tricky. You have to have five thousand overall. Plus, you need two legs doing two thousand each. So you can't just hit elite going for three thousand and okay, just placing people. Like the Naomi said, you know the placements is 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 huge. Placing people on your tree. You want to build two solid legs. So Ashley coached me through that. She helped me, okay, this is how you place people, this and that. Let's strategize. Are they going to be doing LRP every month? Um, that was huge. And that is why I hit premieres because before I kind of hit elite and going through the pre-elite program, she had already set me up to play, um, to work on the placement. So I think that was huge. So elite kind of, I mean, premiere kind of followed elite just because I had kind of set myself up for that, luckily. Um, and then following up is huge. So with my classes and social media and stuff, I was lucky enough to get 12 enrollments in that month I hit Premiere. But following up was key. Getting them on LRP was key. So that's what's going to solidify your ranks, what's going to help you rank up in the future. So that's what helped me. Um, am I missing anything else? I think, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. But you always want to keep in touch with your, you know, your enrollees. You don't want to kind of just enroll them and forget about them. You want to check your back office all the time, touch base with them, see if they need anything from you, see what's holding them back from LRP, whatnot. Um, that's what helped me. And also, I think I'm going to take that thing from Naomi about doing samples because I've been kind of been stuck with, okay, I enrolled a bunch of people and now I'm kind of fishing. I have to revisit my contacts list. I have to constantly go back and reassess and add people on to kind of keep it flowing. And online classes kind of stop after a while. There's people that are busy with the holidays. I had a hard time through the holidays, you know, but I think I need to do that samples thing. So. Thanks for that, because I think that opens up a new door in how to expand my business, I guess. But yeah, that that's my journey in a nutshell. Michael, Naomi has a question for you. Yeah. What is oh, I was just, I forgot to mention, like, I think one thing that, that people are trying to figure out, right, when you're building your tree is everyone at first, when they sign up as a wellness mm -hmm. um, consultant, they're stuck as a consultant. And once you put them in their tree, they're stuck as a consultant. They stay there. They don't move. You can't put people under them. So I know that some of, some of my builders were like, well, how do, I, how do I continue down the tree if no one else wants to build, right? If it's just people signing up, then I have like nine people stuck under me. Then what, right? And so how do you get people to actually turn to purple, which is how you move people around or how do you get them to turn to an advocate which is what we do we built um either they have to do it initially and they already want to and some people already want to right i think Eichel had like a lot of people already want to mine none of mine wanted to mine were like yeah i'm gonna buy i totally trust you but like sell i don't want to do that right 
And so I had to actually incentivize. I was like, some of my really good friends, like I have like one of my best friends is my second leg. And, sh- and I'm like, oh my gosh, Katie, if you sign up as an advocate, you'll really help me. And I will give you this amazing book. And I, it, I happen to have like extra, I had, um, I just happen to have extra books of the essential life that I'd bought in bulk. So it was cheaper. Okay. And so if I give her this book, that would cost me like what, 15, $16 at the time, like what I bought at bulk. So, or, or, or 18, I don't know, but the, her signing up gave me a 20% of that 20% that I was making, it would cover the cost of that book. So it was okay for me to give her this book to incentivize her to switch to an advocate instead of just a wellness um, cons- uh, customer, because even though I'm, I'm losing my 20% commission, giving this book that cost me, right? I was able to then build her tree. I was able to put people under her, which allows me to get a higher commission instead of me just having everyone stuck under me. So that's really, really huge. Um, and, and I did have to incentivize some people again. Like I had to send emails to people who were already buying every month. Like if I noticed that they always bought a hundred anyway, I was like, so you always buy every month. You don't even have to do anything different. If you want to just turn on your, your tab, um, if anyone else ever bought from you, you would make commission. If that's not enough for them, because some people are like, I don't want to sell. I don't want to talk about it. Like I don't have time. I don't care. Or they just don't know anything. There's a couple of people that I'm not really close to, but I talk a lot with them because of oils. And I just was like, Hey, can I buy you a free oil? If you turn on your advocate button (laughs) or can I, um, like, can I do something for you? Like, can I, um, do you want to try that concentrate cleaner? And, and, you know, sometimes it does sound like, Oh God, I got to spend all this money, but I was using my points, all my points that I accumulated from my loyalty right? You get all those shipping points back. You get the, the, the percentage back of what you spend sitting in your account. So I was using those credits to buy people things to incentivize them to turn on their wellness advocate button so that I could start putting people under them. And sometimes that wasn't enough either. So I had to explain, I would actually show my tree and be really honest, send them a snapshot of my tree and be like, Hey, this is you here. And if I put you, if I, if I turn you purple, I can put people under you and that means you're going to make percentage too. That means that you make like $13 every month. Okay. Or that means that if you ever wanted to sell, like, look, you could, I could just put people under you. You don't have to do anything and you're going to make money. Okay. Um, yeah, I totally show people my tree and then they trust me and then they're like, Oh my God, what? You actually have this many people under you. And I'm like, yeah, they're like, it's not a scam. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, do you actually have checks? And I like take pictures of my checks. I'm like, yes, look, and then they're like, oh, okay. Because even my best friend was like, they asked for my social. Like, should I trust these people? Who are these doTERRA people, <laughs> you know? So I was like, I promise you make money. Look, so here's my bank statements. Here, look, it comes in. Like, I had to do that because she didn't believe me. <laughs> okay, so, um, I mean, I just kind of did whatever. Just to be like, hi, can you just turn on your button for me so I can, like, put people under you? Because then I make more money and you make money. Is that Okay you know, and then, um, it worked. And so I had a whole bunch of people that like turned on their button for me, like four or five people, even my mom, my mom, I totally use her account, um, to buy myself things so that I make commission. So I use my mom's account cause it's my mom. So she trusts me. So I use her account to buy myself stuff. And I ship it to me so that I make money off of her account. And then I also built her tree so that it makes me rank. Okay. So these are all little like tips you can do. At what point do you transfer from sponsorship to enrollership? Sponsorship to enrollership. What do you mean? At what point? Oh, that's like in my case. Yeah, Ashley. What? Can we what? Um, to transfer? Charity asked. Transfer from sponsorship to enrollership. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's something you don't want to do. Yeah. You want to keep everyone that you enroll to you. But I have given up my some enrollerships. Um, for the better of the team, I have done that. Um, so when you, when you find builders and you find so many and you don't, you don't need 10 builders on your front line, I stack builders under builders. Um, when it comes to the point of, you know, one of my builders needs to, needs to hit a rank like premier, um, where you have two legs, but you need to have enrollership of those two front people then that's when I give the enrollership away so that they can hit premiere or whatnot. But because they hit premiere, I get to hit gold, you know? So as long as it's for the betterment of the whole team, you should 
you can give sponsorship to, you can give someone the enrollership of someone that you've enrolled. Otherwise, keep everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, you actually get more, I just learned this, you get more shares in the leadership pool if you have more elites, more elites that you've enrolled on your team. So when, all right, okay, so when I hit silver for the first time, I had three people hit elite for the first time. I got four shares in the leadership pool that month and got paid out in four shares. So that was pretty awesome. I think when you're a silver rank, you get one share. Um, and as you guys hit the higher ranks, you'll kind of get there. But if you're interested in it now, um, look at it on doTERRA and it'll explain. Um, when you get your monthly paycheck, eventually when you hit premiere, it'll have leadership pool or leadership payout and it'll say how many shares you've had and how much money you got paid for that. So it's kind of, it's cool. It's awesome. So if you have more elites on your team or hit or new people that hit elite for the first time on your team, you get more shares that month. Okay. That might be confusing, but don't worry about it for now. <laughs> okay. That's another way though. I, I like, told people that you make money and they didn't believe me. So I was like, okay, so you know Ashley? And I like sent them like her Instagram and I was like, hey, she makes this much every month. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, she does, watch. And then I was like, <laughs> see what she's posting? <laughs> so I totally oh. use Ashley. I totally use Ashley too, because if they don't believe you make money, I'm like, yeah, I make money, but I don't make as much as Ashley does, but I'm gonna, and then Ashley makes money and she doesn't make as much as her upline. And then she's gonna, and I like go down the tree and I like tag everyone's Instagram and I'm like, see this person, see, they make money, they're stay at home mom. They make money, they're stay at home mom. See, they're real. <laughs> yeah. And that's when they're like, oh, I wanna do it too. And they turn on their button. Okay. <laughs> when they turn on their button, by the way, when they turn on the advocate, you can move them. And a lot of people don't know that. And I didn't know that. Okay. For it took me a while to figure that out. If they are already sitting in your tree and they've been green, they've been just a customer. And then all of a sudden they turn on their purple button. You have 14 days to move them again. So if they're sitting somewhere that was inconvenient and then they turn on their advocate thing and you want to move them somewhere else where they're, their monthly purchase or you want to build that side you can you can totally switch them around at that point but then after 14 days they stay there so yeah keep that in mind because i know that some people didn't know that <laughs> yes oh yeah they have to be over yes. 90 days they have to be over, over 90, 90 days, days. so over 90 wholesale days. customers that are wholesale customers once they once they've been enrolled for 90 days they upgrade and then you can move them again but if it's below 90 days, you can't move them and they just upgraded for nothing. I've done that before too. I but, mean, but if they do upgrade, at least you can put people under them. You can at least build, right? It's yeah. not the end of the world when you place a wholesale customer somewhere where you don't want them to be. They can always upgrade after 90 days and you can move them again. Okay. Um, it's interesting because Eiko, Naomi, and I are all different. We have three different stories to elite. I'll share mine in a second. But... um. They mentioned, you know, that I've helped them a lot and that is in mentor calls. So that there's, it's really important to do mentor calls. It, if you guys do not do mentor calls, you, you could grow on your own, but you will grow a lot quicker when you have a mentor call and your business will grow and you will gain so much knowledge. And, and I don't know everything. I have a mentor call every week with my mentor, which is Noelle. Noelle has, you know, her mentor, um, which is Miley. So, the mentors are super important. Um, and the thing that I try to do in mentor calls is teach you guys not to do the mistakes that I did because I did a lot of mistakes. So that's why I had, you know, Aiko and Naomi start with their two legs and build from there because I didn't do that, you know? Um, so really, really um, take advantage of your mentor calls. Um, as far as my um, story to elite, it's not what you think it is unless you already know my story, but I haven't been a stay at home mom forever. Like I haven't, I wasn't a stay at home mom and, and was just able to do this business. I had a full-time job. This full-time job kept me so busy that when I clocked out, I was still working and I wasn't getting paid for the, the work that I was doing. I was working on my phone from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night. I was one of the longest employees in that company. So I had to advise every single position below me. Um, I had to help 10 stores and the corporate office. Um, so it was really overwhelming. Um, and I found the time 
I, I pushed myself to find the time. I put this business as a priority and I found time to do this business. So I hit elite within three months. I also had a two year old toddler who I was trying to potty train, which was ridiculous. Um, I, I hit elite in three months and, and then I, I kind of, you know, let go and became a stay at home mom and, you know, went on from there. But, um, Noel likes to say my mantra is if I can do it, you can do it. So if you, if you really want this, you can totally do it. Um, with elite, I do want to say I didn't have pre elite program to train me. I did have a great mentor, Noel, who led me every single step of the way. I did have the launch guide. If you guys don't have the launch guide, that thing I still use to this day. I tell you guys this all the time. I still use a launch guide to this day. The launch guide helps you launch to elite in 30 days. So in 30 days, you plan out how you're going to hit elite. I didn't hit elite the first month. I went back to the same launch guide and started over the next month and the next month until I hit elite. Um, I have like, you know, Eichel did online classes. Naomi did one-on-ones. I did all in-person classes, which is nuts. Like no one does that anymore. Right. I mean, a few of you do. I did all in-person classes at my house. Um, that 50 contact list. I made sure I did a hundred contact lists and I reached out to all those 100 people. I set three classes and I invited all of those people to those three classes. And I got as many people as I could to those classes. Um, then enrolled and got them in all RP and kept going from there. Um, the best advice I can give now, as you guys go for elite is keep up with the basic basics. Um, something that I'm finding trouble in now that I have 90, you know, 90 personal enrolled people is I, I'm like, Oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. So I want to make sure I share this with you. Um, I should have kept a file on each person <laughs> should have done that. What could they enrolled with? Did they start an LRP? Um, what, what were their health goals initially when they, you know, in your first initial class and meeting, what did they say their health goals were? Um, how many kids do they have? Where do they live? How long have they been married? You know, little personal things. They love to get messages from you like, Hey, you know, it's maybe been six months and maybe you want to share the reactivation special. Hey, how's it going? Um, you know, I know you haven't ordered in a while and that's totally fine. There is a reactivation special this month. I know that in the very beginning, when we first talked, you told me your health concerns were this, this, and this. Are you meeting those health concerns or is there anything that I can help you with? or help you suggest anything to help you reach those health concerns. And people love that. Or, you know, how, um, I just messaged someone the other week and thank God, you know, when you message people on Instagram or in text message, it saves your history of your, of your messages. And I scroll all the way up because I don't, I didn't save those files. I scroll all the way up and I see that we talked and they mentioned they were pregnant back in May. So I counted how many months later I'm like, Hey, how are you? Um, I, I think you're almost going to give birth since the last time we talked. How is your pregnancy been going? Um, I know that you wanted to get into essential oils. Um, you know, are you ready to get started? I'd love to help you, you know, so, so really just take really good notes. Um, that's the best advice I can give and study the, I wouldn't say you have to study the comp plan. I'd say study the structure and get your structure right from the beginning. And you're golden from there. Yes, Naomi. Tell them about your Instagram, because that was really good advice. Like how you um, yeah. how you, you talk to people on your Instagram, because you get a lot of Instagram messages. Oh, sure. That's a really good advice. <laughs> yes, I was actually gonna get to that, expanding your contacts. Um, uh, okay. So <laughs> expanding your contacts, you guys, I, I, sometimes you can, you'll, you'll have a block of like, I don't have any more contacts. I don't have anyone else to reach out to. Um, my personal goal to still to this day is to enroll as many people as I can personally. Cause I actually really like that best art bonus. <laughs> and I just, I really want to keep up with the game. Like I don't want my builders to, to be enrolling people to only be enrolling people. I want to be also enrolling people too. You know, I want to enroll people and put them under my leaders and, and empower my leaders to, to grow and keep, stay motivated. Um, so I, you know, I, at this point, 
you know, I've pretty much enrolled all my family, all my friends. How do I expand from there? Um, I know when I, when I enrolled Naomi, I was like, Hey, I'm going to reach out to other people like me. I'm a mom. I appreciate that. I have natural solutions. I'm going to reach out to other moms. So anyone who was kind of like, we followed each other on Instagram or, you know, what was my high school, you know, we graduated together and their mom. Now I personally reached out to them and said, Hey, I'm reaching out to moms just like me. I use a natural solutions. Um, I actually really like it. Would, and I started doing this as a business. Would you like to learn more? Or can I share some essential oils with you? Um, I know that's how I talked to Naomi. <laughs> um, and we went from there. And another thing that I did was once I, once I realized that, okay, it's kind of interesting. Like when you have an Instagram, sometimes it's just for your family and friends, but mine is not private. And I realized that people were following me that I didn't really know. Um, but I wasn't getting as much feedback, like good feedback or even comments on my actual posts of doTERRA. So I was like, okay, so my followers don't like doTERRA I and mean, don't want me to post only doTERRA anymore. So I created a doTERRA Instagram. And I'm not saying that anyone needs to create their own doTERRA Instagram, but that's what my followers kind of were, I felt like they were needing. So I created a separate Instagram. Um, and with that, as I was seeing people follow me, I, every month I'll go to my followers list and I'll just do a one hour text splits. I'll, you know, time blocking one hour. I'm going to text list new people. I reach out to new followers on my oils, Instagram and say, Hey, um, thank you for following. I say, thank you for following me. Hi, thank you for following me. Um, I, you know, I wanted to reach out and see if you wanted any information on essential oils, um, you know, or wanted to know more, more about the business and not a lot of people respond, but the ones that do, they're like, I'm so glad you reached out to me. I've been following you for a while now. I want to get into essentials, but I didn't know where to start. And I didn't know how I was too scared to reach out to you. So those are two ways that I, that I found to expand, that I came up with to expand. There aren't any rules really, but, um, so kind of think outside of the box, but do it naturally. You know, um, I didn't like message these people and just like, out of the blue. Hey, I have a business. I have a product. Would you like to buy it? You know, so, so really make it natural selling. Okay. Does anyone else have any ideas to throw in about how to expand your contacts? Hi, Liv. Hi. Anybody? I think like, um, I know you had mentioned this a while back too, because I was kind of stuck. But, you know, asking your people for referrals or whatever, you know, like your friends or those who are like, uh, maybe not really asking them. And you can incentivize that, too. You know, like, oh, you know, I'm offering a promo if you refer this many people, whatnot. So I think that helps, too. A lot of times, like Ash said, you'll kind of get no's or ignored texts or messages. But if you don't ask, you'll never know and you'll never get those leads. So. Yeah, try that. I forgot about that one. Good one, I go. I did do that. I would be like, hey, I'll give you a free roller if you t uh, send two friends to me or bring two friends to, a, to one of my classes. Or, you know, um, you can give an incentive to one of your customers if they host a class for you with five new friends. Five new friends that would be interested in oils. Um, okay. I also just use them wherever I am. Like I seriously was, especially cause I'm in mommy land. Like I'm, where do I go? I'm in playgrounds. I'm in doctor's offices. I'm in like child, everything. I have three children, five and under. So all I am at is like baby everything. And so me bringing it out and using it, um, in front of them, I constantly will get people like, Oh, what is that? What's going on? Like, how do you, what is this? Or is, does that really work and stuff? And so I think, what I wish I had been doing because I only now like am used to being like, oh, okay, yes, here's my business card if you want some or did you want a sample? I wish I had kept on me little samples with my card all the time, like of basics. Like I wish I'd always had lavender, breathe, um, or like something for pain, like Roman chamomile because those are the things like I use all the time on my kids and I'm constantly attracting other moms who are like, what are you using on them? Oh, or like the anti-bug, like today we were at the museum and I'm, I'm at the, um, 
Contemporary Museum is on mosquitoes in the garden, and I didn't have any um, I didn't have any bug spray, but I was using Terra Shield. The Terra Shield is anti bug. I also have Helichrysum in my bag um, for allergies and for anti sun, anti bug, and I was rubbing it all over my kids to keep the mosquitoes away. And this lady noticed, and she had kids, and she was like, "Oh my gosh." It's, does that really work? Like my neighbor uses it, but I didn't really think it works. And then, you know, she doesn't have kids, but you have kids. And so if you're using it and living it, then people are asking. And I didn't have cards in me today and I wish I did, you know, but if, you know, if you can plan it a little better and just expect that people are going to ask you, just use it and like keep stuff on you all the time. I think that really helps, you know? No, that's a good one. And, you know, I've, I've actually kept my cards on me at school, at live school, and I've given my cards out, but one of three, res one of three reached out to me. So something that I wish I did was say, Hey, do you, um, do you actually want me to send you more information? I can, you know, I can email you or text you because it gives them the option to say no. So, but that way I can, they give me their information. I reach out to them. I follow up with them. So I learned something new that day. <laughs> Alrighty, but yeah, everything's trial and error and, and you know, giving it your all. One last thing I want you guys to kind of think about, if you don't reach out to someone, don't be scared. If you don't reach out to someone, somebody will and they will sign them up and you will be so bummed. Um, so don't be scared to reach out to people um, and get those enrollments and get enrollments of your friends. Because if you don't reach out to your friends, someone else will reach out to them and will enroll them. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, as far as like ideas to expand, that's for anybody. It doesn't have to be just me, Aiko and Naomi. <laughs> anybody have any um, insights, anything they want to share otherwise, or any questions? No? Okay. Well, I'm going to say there's a lot of awesome promotions this month. It's a new year. Um, you can even promote, you know, doing a 30 day cleanse. You can promote getting onto a natural path with exercise, um, stress management, sleep, you know, the wellness pyramid, um, eating right. And doTERRA products can help you get there. doTERRA products can ship to you automatically. Um, you know, if people want vitamins, they can ship it 30 day supply ships automatically if they want. Um, those are some great points. People always like easy things and people are always up to, trying new healthy things in the new year okay so good luck with everybody with this with this month excited to see what you guys do um oops i muted myself <laughs> um now that we went over elites i definitely want to make sure i send you guys um uh the anything on structuring because you're going to want to do that from the very beginning and there's a really great video i just watched okay um thank you guys nobody's talking to me <laughs> thank you way to make me feel awkward thank you <laughs> thank you ash thank you guys and aiko and know me thank you for sharing guys yeah. all righty bye okay bye bye, bye. bye.